Okay, so after simulated for 360 iterations, I got this result, but it's still not convergence yet. But I think I'm going to stop here and talk about the result. But if you try to find another video on YouTube or in the Autodesk CFD uh, website, I think there is so much more video which explaining about the result. So in, in this video tutorial, I only want to show you how to operate the button here so that we can uh, analyze our result. Okay, so first, this is the simulation result, uh, but we cannot really analyze the result if it looks like this. So first, um, I'm going to create a, a plan in Z direction and in X direction so that we can see the uh, velocity profile on that plan. Okay, so first in the concrete parts, I click on this and I choose outline instead of shade it so later on I can see my plan my uh, result plan okay and also for the air I will um, choose outline as well okay so I have this one now and after that I click on the plans here and click add so now we have a plan as you can see here which shows the velocity um, profile in this plan. So I'm going to change the units of the velocity magnitude here to be meter per second. Okay. And also change the range of the legion. So it should be two because um, we set the inlet uh, velocity is two meter per second so that would be the maximum velocity okay so this is the result so and then we can also move the plan along the um, x-axis so here it is so here is as you can see here the velocity in the middle of this plan is the highest right because the inlet it comes from here to this direction and if you we and if we move this plane to this way we can see that the uh, that the velocity decreasing right and okay so now we add one more plan i'll click add and this plan just click on the plan left click and choose align to z axis okay then we get the z axis plan here it is so you can see here we can see the velocity profile of the z axis the the velocity is high in this part because this is the inlet and it becomes slower going to this part okay so it's flowing from this side to this side but we can see here there is not much impact on having ventilation here because the the air is not moving to this uh, ventilation but to make sure we can add the factor so we can see the air movement okay so here click on this plan the z plan and as you can see here there's a factor tab it's still not we change it to velocity factor okay and we can see the arrows uh, on the plan okay we also can setting the factor using the factor settings here and we can um, increase the length or decrease it depends on what you need or maybe this is good and make the grid spacing fine of course if you make it fine there will be more arrows if it's coarse then less arrows okay that's all yeah maybe this is good okay good 
now we can see click on the top view <coughs> sorry okay so we can see the air is moving from this side to this side but there are also some air that is moved to the inlet direction back and also if you want to see sorry the air movement in the x direction then we just click on this and choose velocity factor here and mostly the velocity factor it shows uh, that the air going to the inlet opening walls it is because the 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 air which is moving from the inlet side going to this going to this direction and hit the wall and going back to uh, the inlet opening to the walls with inlet opening um, direction so yeah as you can see here there is no much impact with having a ventilation in this area so by using a CFD simulation we can see those things so maybe we should put uh, the ventilation lower that's all that I can show you um, I'm not an expert in CFD simulation but I just want to share what I know and what I can do in CFD software hopefully it can help you to to simulate a CFD in Autodesk CFD software and if you have any question you can comment on the link below hopefully I'll check it regularly or maybe I and, and also hopefully I have an answer for that but if you really need uh, uh, an expert help I suggest you to um, see the Autodesk forum in Google you just can click on Google Autodesk forum or you have or, or if you have um, an account in Autodesk then um, you can go into the forum I guess and there you can ask anything or search your answer there there's so many people that will help you in that for you so um, good luck and thank you so much